Yeah. We don't have our background music yet. It's 2024. Today is Wednesday, 11:39. Soon it will be March 21 here in the Philippines. So, hello, hello, hello. How are you? All over the world. Are you uh, doing fine? How is uh, summer treating you? Is summer treating you just fine? Here in the Philippines, uh, it's quite tough because uh, it's about two days. There will be something for much warmer weather or it's going to be uh, Baguio weather. As we know here in the Philippines, Baguio is no tropical. It's a place that is considered as cold. Uh, well, um, for this live stream, uh, we'll be talking about uh, a new Minas Pad with production. In Alpins Profile. New Minas Pad with production in Alpins Profile. How about her? I'll be uh, something to tell you. Total of uh, how about about her. And uh, something about uh, our recent uh, hiking expedition, our recent hiking trip with my good friend. Um, also, uh, as some kind of auditor, uh, we can also talk about Shaira uh, Moro, right? Versus Lenny. Uh, the issue is quite uh, friendly now. The issue between Shaira Moro and Lenny. That was friendly. For now, let's have a uh, uh, channel ID. Pagkakaroon na naman ng pagtaas ng COVID-19 cases dito sa Pilipinas. Subalit ayon sa gobyerno, wala raw na ang pagsuyo ko ay multong hapos. Huli na akong tumampi ng libong taon. <laughs> Pailing ning, paggamit ning, uh, ang isa si Manu. Uh, folk beliefs related to the Minas Pad. Chinonglo, or the Kinabayo, could very well be an articulation of this folk. Then we go farther forward, and we'll go to the false sheep. At saka ito, syempre, ang ating sword. <laughs> Man, ano po, kung talaga may sombra po dito. New Minas Bad with Garda Sean. Plus some other blades that uh, I actually have with me right now. Perhaps uh, we can, uh, you know, just hang out and talk about uh, these blades that uh, I have right now. Um, as you know, uh, this channel is also devoted to blade uh, culture. So perhaps you have seen all our other content uh, regarding that topic. Uh, right now, actually our content is uh, related to blade culture because uh, it is uh, related to uh, talisman culture. Uh, I recently featured uh, wild boar uh, pendants, wild boar pendants, because as you know, I like make, with the help of some of my friends, I like to uh, craft uh, different types of charms. Anyway, uh, that's our feature. Uh, a new uh, Minas Bad with Garda Sean. Uh, 
product of TMS made by a very good friend, uh, Fidel. So this is our new blade. I hope you can see it pretty well. Readily, you will observe that uh, the handle, as usual, is uh, crafted using water buffalo horn, water buffalo horn, with uh, ilk carving that we call uh, we call as uh, kinabayo. Kinabayo. If you wanna check, you no. Know, if you wanna check my previous uh, videos on blade culture, particularly the various hilt carvings, you might wanna check my older videos. Older videos. And I talk about some of the common hilt carvings as per Bicol blade parlance. This one is uh, Kinabayo hilt carving made of water buffalo, water buffalo. The ferrule or the tikala is made of bronze. So this is the tikala. The handguard is made of carabao horn as well. So we cut the carabao horn to the shape and we create a kind of a cross guard to serve as hand guard for the blade. Um, this is uh, the, uh, made of lanka. The wooden part or the scabbard is actually made of lanka. We have uh, how many scabbard rings or bakurong? How many? We count one, two, three, four, and five scabbard rings or bakurong. As for bicol blade parlance, it is, uh, or bicol blade culture, uh, bronze bakurong or bronze uh, scabbard rings are much preferred. They are much preferred. Philippines is uh, also a very rich country when it comes to blade culture. You might want to check other bloggers, other Facebook pages that uh, feature other Philippine blades. Other Philippine blades. We can mention uh, Pinoy Blade Hunter. We can mention particularly the Philippine of uh, uh, Salazar, Randy. Salazar. He is a collector of Philippine blades. Now uh, we are, uh, you know, more focused in Bayon Channel on the vehicle style blades. The, the blade itself, this is 22 inches. The blade is 22 inches. It's, uh, it's been sharpened already. Here is the serration part. There's also usually a ser serration, serrated portion, no? Which is somehow re the reminiscent of uh, the uh, various serration profiles of some Moro blades. I guess uh, when you go uh, south, the, the blades here in the Philippines be more intricate and elaborate. Uh, the spine is not that thick, but it's, it's thick enough for a bicol blade. Uh, I did not really measure the spine this time. But the blade itself is actually 22 inches. 22 inches. But uh, the handle is only or oh, 7 inches. The handle is 7 inches or the hilt is seven inches. We can observe here the uh, burda or the uh, engraving, uh, which something you can find even among um, vintage or 
um, antique Bico blades. Yeah, they're really nice. This has been sharpened, but uh, I don't, I'm not in the mood for a cutting test for the moment. Yeah. The uh, engraving is usually uh, uh, made to depict um, foliage, vegetation. Okay, sometimes they are also made to depict uh, the sun, the moon, flowers, etc. So there, here's your new Minas Babib Gardashon. Well, let's talk about other blades, All right? That I have uh, with me right now. Four uh, on various Beagle blades uh, profiles and so some uh, historical aspect of uh, Beagle blades. You might want to check my older videos and you might also check other vloggers that also discuss um, uh, blades. Um, by the way, this is a live this is a live stream at Bayon Chan and this will be uh, uploaded later. I have so many stuffs dangling here. Maybe we could remove them. Yeah, yeah. maybe it's distracting you. Mm -hmm. Everything I can show you is this guy. Um, my other, you know, bleeds members of uh, my uh, gallery, other parts, the other items included in my gallery are not here, but uh, I have featured them before. Let me show this one. I already featured this before. This is actually vintage. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a Bina Club. In Bico Blade parlance, we call this one as Bina Club. So, Tarangge, you know, because, uh, you know, in jest, we call this as Bina Club. Because of per Bicol blade culture, the Minas Bad is uh, seen as male or the masculine blade, whereas the Ginun thing is seen as uh, the feminine blade, the feminine blade. So if you combine the two, you end up with, you know, people call this blade, you know, in jest, we call this uh, the Binakla. So combination of the Minas Bad and uh, Ginun Ting. There. Later on, when I post this on my channel, you can make some comments. Give me some of your feedback. The blade. Uh, is uh, has the so called Kinabayo uh, uh, hilt carving as well. Kinabayo hilt carving. So, see, uh, it ha it's made of carbon horn as well. The Peru or the Tikala is made of stainless, stainless and not. Uh, what not made of bronze? You have here is you have a total of one, two, three, four, five scabbard rings. You may want you might want to enjoy, you might want to appreciate the carvings of the uh scabbard. The scabbard is made of uh, a quality, you know, wood. We call it the uh, barayong. Barayong wood. Yeah. Combination between Minas Bad and uh, Ginon Ting. Yeah. Let's have this one. This guy here, this big guy. These are all my personal blades except the first one. Uh, 
this is the second link that I am featuring. Yeah. The blade is again uh, made uh, has a hilt carving. It has uh, a hilt carving made of carbon horn again. But this time the hill carving is as tenegre. Tenegre. In Visayan blade culture, tenegre is already a blade. But as per Biko culture, tenegre is merely a scabbard. Uh, no, it's merely a hill carving. The crown is uh, made of aluminum, I think. Aluminum. The other one, let me let me call it again. The crown is or the punyo is made of bronze. Right. This blades uh, increase in value in due time. The Tikala or the perul is made of bronze, also with gardashon, made of carabao horn. Combination of blanca and, oh no, no, it's just, it's blanca. The scabbard is made of blanca. With total of how many? One, two, three. Uh, five, five scabbard locks. You see here, uh, the carving depicts the sun, the stars, you see the, again, the stars, foliage, Sun rays, you see, typical Bico blade scabbard motif. Sorry, because I've been using this blade, so it's not so clean. This is actually seen um, Palo when we consider the profile. This is profiled as in um, Palo. Mm -hmm which is a bicol being in reverse. So there, Sinampalok. In Visayan blade culture, the Sinampalok is a ginunting. Remember, uh, Taprado blades, they uh, consider this type of blade profile as ginunting. All right? <clears throat> Ginunting, ginunting. It's quite rusty, and there are there there is no uh, there is no uh, engraving or labon. Just a pretty straightforward um, blade. This is the ginun. Uh, the sinampalo. Feature the next one. Mm -hmm. Next one is a mini Biko Gilon thing. Mm -hmm. Again, Carabao Horn Hill carved as Negre. Tenegre with uh, Peru or Bacoro. One, two, three, four, five. Five scabbard locks or um, Bacoro. It's actually yeah, the, 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 the uh, scabbard is made of Nara. Salvage from 
caso de eco post. Eco, Cabrini Sur Electric Cooperative. Profile is really neat and really sexy. Ginunting profile. So mini ginunting. Uh, what's more of a knife now? This is very, very sharp. I, I personally sharpened this. Hmm? Notice the what? Notice the engraving featuring some form of vegetation. Vines. Okay. Vines. It's almost mirror finish. Uh, this is the blade that I brought with me during the, the hiking trip with Bernard Quinones, my good friend Bernard. Um, shout out to Bernard Quinones. There. Really light, really handy. Pretty sharp. Next in line is a vintage blade. Uh, Sinagangan, Minasban, Pinaldus profile. Let's appreciate the Maravical scabbard. Maravical is black wood, Maravical is premium wood. All right. Uh, Hilk. Skin a bio, but it's damaged because of its age. It has uh, a sagang or a handguard made of bronze. It's quite thick. The perul or tikala is made of bronze. This cupboard is not purely mara, so let's check it out. This is 22 inches all in all. Let's enjoy it. There, you can also observe the serration. This is uh, what we call as the Tres Cantos. This is the blade of the Cimarrones, one of the favorite blades of the Bicol Cimarrones. Okay. A lot of people learned, a lot of pandais, uh, blacksmiths learned from my live streams and videos. They were able to figure out how, how to make a sagang or a handguard because of my videos. You see, it is actually Tres Cantos. Be nice. I got this from Mr. Sang Lai. May he rest in peace. Thank you so much. Mr. Sang Lai was also a really, really great. Uh, blacksmith. The blade of the Cimarrones. Pinal dos. Also the Minas Bad, but this is reputed to be the favorite because this is light. Very, very light. Next up is another another binacla. Again, another personal blade of mine. This is also vintage. Carbal horn, built in a bio. In a bio. 
sagang made of stainless with the bronze perul or tikala. Total of one, two. One, two, three, four, five discovered locks or bakuro. Bronze. Wood is marabical. Black wood. Sorry for the appearance of the blade because this has seen much dirt time because this is a personal blade and I use this when I go camping or hiking. I use this in, at the farm. See? Farm garb is made of stainless. You can see here the serration. It has no it has no engraving or labor. Pretty, st pretty straightforward. Again, uh, a binocla, a combination of the minus bud. It has minus bud handle, but the profile of the blade is that of Tinunti. Really nice for. Filipino martial arts, Simaron fighting arts, also for farm work. I bet most of you will not, uh, if you have one like this, you will not use it because it's too pretty to be used and abused. Mm -hmm. Let's have uh, another one. This one is Sinagangan Minasbad as well. Let's appreciate it as a kamba. kamba. We discovered made of uh, black wood or maravical. I got it from Mount Isarog. We are not illegal loggers. During a storm, one maravical tree got damaged and we got one of the branches and we made it into a scabbard, right? See, I have here one, two, three, and four, and five, five scabbard locks or five bakuro. See the motif, flower motif, flower motif, or it could be a star. Depends upon how you look at it. Hilt carving is kinabai. Kinabai. And guard is bronze. Check it out. Check it. Check her out. See that one? It's so so clear. It is a personal blade that I actually use. I use this a few times, but I would, I intend to keep this as part of on gallery. Round tip. Round tip. Legend has it that the Cimarrones would use the tip of their blades in handing items to other people, particularly other Cimarrones. They would use the tip of their blades, the round tip of their blade. Especially uh, their or cud or quid. And uh, if the quid falls off, then it would start a sword fight because it that the other person is not really a Cimarron, but pretending perhaps to be one. 
or it could mean that the other person is insulting. This is almost mirror finish. Almost mirror finish. Check this out. Vegetation, flowers, weeds. That's the motif of the labor or the engraving. You may want to listen to my uh, video cast or my blog live stream to help you sleep. You know, this could also serve as ASMR for you. There, this is the come precious, precious blade. Well, this one, I know I, I featured this of me. I think last live stream, during my previous live stream, this one is made of swordfish beak. Surface serves its purpose as a nice sword. Nice. Mm -hmm. This one has been modified. This is actually a Pangasinan blade, vintage, but it's been modified. Nice. Oh, this is Japanese uh, bayonet. I discussed this already during a previous uh, blog entry here. Just check it out. My only bionic. Can uh, there are more details? About this uh, bionic. In that uh, live stream. Smells vintage. I hope this was not used in killing someone. Got this from Cebu. Bayonet. Some knives, double blade knife with uh, Maravical scabbard with no varnish. Probably. Really, really cute, right? Marabical handle, I don't know. Carbow horn. Handle is carbow horn. This is actually a M1 Garand bullet. M1 Garand uh, shell. M1 Garand bullet shell. Nice. Really nice. Pretty color. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. This one is reason. This is mini gununti. <laughs> Very beautiful. Look at the profile. You see? It's beautiful. The spine is just right. So small, so cute. I'm gonna polish this soon. Um, handle is made of wood. I don't know what wood. Though. Ferrule is made of. is a thick stainless same with the scarboard gloves this is very during hiking you know super skinny for cooking for other purposes wonderful you can see the motif sun rays stars Total of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six scabbard blocks. This one is also really small. Uh, it's difficult to open right now. Maybe some other time. I already featured this before. Really cute, really nice. Carbo horn hilt. Pinonyo sun. Bronze. One, two. This is made of barayo. Very during camping, very small, very light. Collector's item, part of Cimarron Gallery. This one I got from Baguio. Really nice, blink. Still very, very shiny, even until now. And what's peculiar is the presence of the it's called tactical pinahig and it has with it installed the wild boar fan tactical pinahig very very sharp enjoy it Cordillera. Nice play. Nice Cordillera play. This one is from my friend. This one's made of um, Philippine deer, Philippine deer horn. This one is made of Nara. This is actually a mini, what? Mini. Kukri, really nice, been until now, still so shiny, still very, very nice. Like an elfin blade, so beautiful. Lucky to have this. 
is my grandmother's blade. I'm, I want to recreate this. I want another one of these. Maybe I'll build, no, maybe I'll build another blade like this. Nice. Remembrance from my grandmother. This one is with me right now. This is Balisong from San Juan Batangas. Beautiful, right? I had this sharpened, so this is very, very sharp. We could try it. Okay. In this balisong, something for my collection, something I don't really carry because the balisong is public enemy number one here in the Philippines. So just skip this. Beautiful. And this. I found from Japan surplus. Really nice, really nice finds. You know, I'm talking my, my new Minus Bad with Gardashon plus other blades that I have right now. Personal blades. This one I also found from a thrift shop. It's actually a World War II item. This was the pocket knife of the German soldier. Somehow the counterpart of the Swiss army knife. Vintage, really nice. There. But let's go back to the new minus bad with Gardashon because this is our main feature. All right, going back to the minus bad with Gardashon. I hope you can appreciate the look of this. Uh, this is stream that uh, I'll be uploading the video as a regular video for everyone. Um, I also have something here that's really peculiar. Something peculiar, you know. It's nice to find albino carabao horn because uh, if you carve this, it would really be peculiar. Imagine having, uh, say, a blade like this, and the uh, hilt carving is that of uh, carabao horn, uh, albino carabao horn. So it would be really nice because it would be whitish and not black, and something that something special, something unique. So if you know how to get albino carbow horn, PM is the key, or you might want to comment here or visit my page, the Minas Bad shop or Hagbayong channel on FB. Yeah. If you know where I can, 
more of this. More of this would be good. Uh, before I used to see uh, lots of albino carbows at Mount Isarog, but I don't see them now. Um, somewhat. You see, the, the Mount Isarog is the, the haven or the the layer of the Bicol Cimarrones. You know, the Cimarrones, they are considered as the uh, breed between the, uh, the Spaniards and the Agta tribe. So you would create offsprings that are albinos or some, something like that. So much that even the carabaos over there are also albinos. Really nice. Well, let's go to uh, let's go to our recent uh, camping trip. Uh, um, I was with my friend uh, Bernard Quinones, and we we planned on camping, but uh, because uh, we had to do some uh, you know healing practice for for our uh, we opted not to camp anymore. We stayed uh, at the house of that person. Of course, we plan to do it again, and uh, we might even invite uh, friends to join us. Um, I prepared a short clip featuring the photos of hiking trips. So, Also featured there the Inupa Resort, uh, which is the resort of my wife's family, and uh, you are free to visit uh, Inupa as well. It's at the uh, Sitio Bongkau, Kuri, Pili Camarines Resort. Check Inupa, um, Inupa. Check the. And I did not write. Uh, a banner for that. You might want to check Hinupa page on Facebook. It's at Camarini Sur. Now, uh, there's this issue between um, Shaira versus Lenka. Shaira Moro is uh, a Filipina, okay, Magindanawan. And uh, apparently, the song Celos was based on. Uh, at least the melody, you know, was based on a 2008 song by Australian singer Lenka. Uh, the song is called uh, Trouble is a Friend. So uh, Lenka found out about the song and found out that uh, Shaira or Sharia, parang Sharia lo, uh, Shaira Moro, 
uh, and his T and her team or her uh, production is earning from from the song because it's currently trending in social media and also in uh, what in mainstream media. All right, uh, the thing with this uh, issue is that it's uh, it's an issue on oh, my, my power is, I need more power. And uh, I think we need to, it's not working. The charger is not working. Um, well, just unfortunate that Blenka found out about it and Blenka is asserting her rights, her copyright. So, but you know what, uh, Shaira merely made a rendition or a, a Filipino rendition of the song. Um, uh, if I heard it right, uh, Shira's team earlier uh, gave credit to Lenka anyway. So negotiations must be had for them to come up with a settlement so that uh, Shira could use at least the melody of the song and consider addition. There are so many songs, foreign songs, Japanese songs, made into Filipino songs. Uh, we know of uh, um, April Boy. April Boys, April Boy Regino used to uh, make Filipino renditions of uh, Japanese songs. Um, even the song Mawala Kaman Sa Akin, right? It's also a Japanese song. There's, it has happened before. Um, but perhaps uh, it's easier to find out now because of social media and because of the tool as in, uh, internet as a tool. It's easier for copyright owners to assert their rights now. Um, but I think uh, after proper, you know, a discussion, after proper uh, compromise, you know. Shaira should, Shaira should be allowed to use the melody of the song. Anyway, it's just a rendition, a Filipino rendition of the, the song. Only that the beat was made faster and uh, just different instruments were used. Shaira made use of, of, of electronica. So the song by Lenka, you know, sounded different as per Shira's rendition. But it's within, you know, Lenka's rights to uh, assert her intellectual property because intellectual creation is one of the modes of acquiring ownership. Sale from sale, um, as a consequence of certain contracts, delivery, sorry, not sale, delivery, as a consequence of certain contracts like sale, there's also a uh, donation, there's also inheritance, I mean, or prescription. It's also a mode of acquire, acquiring ownership. No? The owner of the, the melody of the song is still Lenka. Copyright is hers. But you know what? It happens all the time. Uh, people make renditions of things from other countries all the time. Even Parokya and Edgar did that with Creep and Trip, right? And Radiohead, Parokya and Edgar's Trip was based on the song Creep. And also the song, there's another song, uh, the song, uh, uh, Picha Pai, based on, once I was afraid. <laughs> anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember the pen is mightier with the sword.